welcome back everyone so in the past videos we have covered the laplace transform we have covered already the inverse laplace transform so before we get into how to solve differential equations let's look at uh, some of the more uh, other topics that we have to do with laplace and in this case we're going to be looking at s shifting and we're going to see what it is how it is apply how we can find it and how this works so basically for the s shifting uh, the main idea, the main premise is that if we're taking the Laplace of some function of t that's being multiplied by an exponential in the t domain, then the Laplace of that function will be just shifted by some amount. So uh, you can see we have uh, this expression. So once again, we're going to take the Laplace of e to the at plus cosine of 3t plus e to the at times cosine of 3t. So you can see we have two, three different functions, exponential, a cosine, and then an exponential times a cosine. So all that's going to happen is that uh, we're going to take the Laplace of each one of those, and then we'll see what we can identify here. So once again, the Laplace of everything, it's the same thing as taking the Laplace of each one individually. And you can see in the last function, the e to the at, it's in jello. It's in different color because once again, you can see that we're taking the Laplace of an exponential times a cosine. So all that's going to happen, that's why the reason I put in yellow is because this is what it's known as an S shift. So once again, if we have, if we are taking the Laplace of an exponential times a function of t, once we, once we write the, the Laplace the Laplace of transfer of that function of t, in this case, a cosine. We're going to write it the same as usual, but we're going to shift the result, the s's at the end. So you can see that if we take the Laplace of e to the at, it's pretty straightforward. We look at the table. It's just 1 over s minus a. For the cosine, it's s over s squared plus omega squared. Uh, so for the first one, we have 1 over s minus 8. The second one we have s over s squared plus nine, and then for the third one, basically I rewrote it so everything in yellow, I put in the front as showing you that I still need to take the Laplace of cosine of three t like normal, but that result that we're gonna get any s's that are present in the in the inverse and I mean in the Laplace transform. Any s present will basically be written as s minus eight. That's the shift, and you can see the shift. It it comes from the s minus a because you can see the Laplace of e to the at. Basically, we're shifting that value. So whatever value of a we have, um, that's how much it will be shifting s minus something or s plus something if that a turns out to be a negative number. So. We take the Laplace of cosine of 3t, which we know, once again, is s over s squared plus 9. But for that and that function only, we're going to substitute the s and the s squared for s minus 8, just like I did here in the different color. And, you know, we can simplify. We can, you know, open the, the whole s minus 8 squared. We can open it up and so on and rewrite everything in the bottom. But it looks more aesthetic to just leave it like this. So you can see the individual Laplace of an exponential, the Laplace of cosine, and the Laplace of how an exponential times a cosine would look like. And you can see this is pretty similar, but the S's are shifted. So this is where the S shifting basically happens. And the answer would just be one over S minus eight plus S over S squared plus nine plus S minus eight over S minus eight squared plus nine. So this is going from the T domain to the S domain. Now, let us look into an example where we're going from the S domain to the T domain. We're taking the Laplace inverse. So this basically is the same process. So you can see here they're asking us to find the Laplace inverse of 3S plus 12 over S plus 4 squared minus 4. So uh, what can we notice here? We have the S plus 4 in parentheses, all of that square. So that is already, uh, you know, should already be like a, a point that you call your attention that something might be shifted here because there's not really any other ones like this on the table that will look like that. So let's take the Laplace 
You can see on the top we have 3s plus 12, but if I factor out a 3, we have s plus 4 as well on top and bottom. And no, don't cancel them. We cannot cancel them like this. You know, in the bottom we have uh, the, the denominator, we have minus 4. It's not, we cannot just cancel like that, so please don't do that. Um, so you can see that we have now something shifted on top and bottom. So this already told you that we have to do an S shift, right? And basically we can uh, let's take the plus and factor out that three. It's just a coefficient. And basically here I'm writing that all those S's plus four, you know, there are the substitution for S. So I will rewrite my uh, Laplace transform, taking out, taking care of that S minus S plus four. And I know that if I'm going backwards, that S shift corresponds to an exponential in the T domain, which in this case is E to the negative four. You can see my Laplace now looks uh, easier. I can find that one in my table. And this one actually corresponds to hyperbolic cosine where A is two. And you can see it's just my answer times the exponential. And that's basically my final answer as a function of T. So it is three times, or three cos, hyperbolic cosine of two T times E to the negative 14. So that is how you find the S shifting going from the plus inverse from the S to the T domain. Uh, we also, and how also you find it from the T to the S domain, you can see once again, you just know that an exponential in the T domain corresponds to an S shift. And I need to have something shift in the S is an exponential on the T. So it's pretty straightforward. We'll look into the T-shift later on and, and more more uh, ways in which we can rewrite some of these things. Uh, but up to now, this is what, what we have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, good luck. <music>